the second part of the activity, my children, we are going to answer some questions related to prepositions of place. Vamos a responder algunas preguntas relacionadas al tema que hemos estado viendo. Don't forget, prepositions of place, they are four words on in, under, and next to, and they are going to help us to find the location, la ubicación of an object, para encontrar la ubicación de un objeto. So, the questions that appear here, okay, are related to these objects, to these images. So, we have to first read the question and then check the drawing so we can answer the questions. Let's start. The first one, in this case, is going to be the example. After the example, we have the list, in this case, because it's a list, don't forget that we are using ordinary numbers. So, for the example, it says here, where, donde, where is my vase? Now, vase, it's an object where we put the flowers, okay? That is called a vase. Again, the question says, where is my vase? Donde está mi jarrón? Let's see. Here, we have the objects, okay? We have two objects. We have a vase and we have a table. So, the vase, where is it? It's on, arriba, on the table. So, with a pencil, we're going to write the vase, el jarrón, the vase, is, está, is on the table, arriba de la mesa, okay? One more time, where is my vase? The vase is on the table, arriba de la mesa. Let's continue with the first question. The first question, it says, where is the picture? Now, a picture is an image, okay, in form of a photograph. It can be a photograph or can, it can be a paint, a painting, okay? That is called a picture, una imagen. Now, here we have the object, we have a table, and we have the picture. Now, here the picture is in color blue and color purple. The question says, where is the picture? The picture, la imagen, the picture is on the table, arriba de la mesa. So with the pencil, we have to write the answer, la respuesta. The picture, la imagen, the picture is, está on the table. Okay? Don't forget that it's very important to answer all of the, all of the, to answer completely or to say it in the complete form. Tenemos que decirlo completamente. Because if we only say, si solo decimos, the picture is on, la imagen está arriba, but on what? On the teacher, on the table, on the cabinet. <laughs> On the pencil case, we have to mention the two objects, okay? So we have to answer it in full form, forma completa. The picture is on the table, okay? Let's continue with the second question. The second question, it says, where, where is the book? Where is the book? Don't forget that the book is an object in which you work or you read, donde trabajamos o donde leemos. And for this, we have two objects. We have a cabinet and we have the telebook, of course. Now, the cabinet, it's, a, no, it's an object in which you put your clothes or your toys. Un cabinet es donde guardamos nuestras, nuestra ropa o nuestros juguetes, okay? That is called cabinet. Now, once again, where is the book? The book is next to 
the cabinet, okay? Now remember, we have to write the full form of the answer. The book, el libro, the book is, está next to, al lado, next to the cabinet. Okay, very good. And let's continue with the final question. Number three, it says, where is the butter? Now, for this, we are going to talk about food. For butter, we, for objects, we have two. We have the butter and we have the cheese. And both of these objects are color yellow. Butter, in this case, in Spanish, means mantequilla. So, once again, the question, where is the butter? ¿Dónde está la mantequilla? And the butter, as we can see here, is again next to, in this occasion, next to the cheese. The butter, la mantequilla, the butter is, está, next to, al lado, next to the cheese, the queso, cheese. Okay, once again, where is the butter? The butter is next to the cheese, okay? Very good. So these activities, my children, are part of the work of today. So don't forget to do the activities in your daily book and also to practice the prepositions of place, which is a very important topic, okay? Very good. So don't forget that the teacher loves you very much. We'll see you tomorrow with new objects, new vocabulary. Take care and goodbye.